Hi everybody, it's Colette Baron reed Welcome to this week's Oracle Card Guidance and Lesson. We're using the Enchanted Map Oracle Card Deck. If you've never seen this before, that was my third deck with Hay House. Um, and one of my most accurate ones. Mind you, all my decks are accurate, but what the heck, let's just tell the story. So if you're new, let me tell you a little bit about what Oracle cards do. They tell a story about us. They reflect where we're at and where we need to go in order to stay in alignment with our highest good. So I pull six cards for the week, but you're gonna have your own special card because you're gonna look at these cards and pick one. This is card number one, card number two, three, four, five, or six. So there's your special card. That's gonna be your extra kind of, oh, I gotta think about this this week. Let's find out what does spirit have to say to all of us for this week. Okay, so Gentle Gardener is a great card to remind us that everything that we think is like a seed that gets planted in our field of dreams. So whether we think about, I call them weed thoughts, which are, I'm afraid it's all going to shit. It's like everything is so bad and all you should be afraid and oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Those kind of things can choke the life out of, oh, I feel so good and I see my, I see my world. I see how I can change things. I can pivot. I can reinvent myself, right? So the weeds are very powerful. It's like a fear virus I was talking about in my earlier blogs and etc. So be very mindful what you plant in your field of dreams this week. Okay. So now that's the anchor card. Let's find out the rest of the story because each card that I take in the subsequent card starts to talk more about the story that relates to this. So what does it mean? Beautiful. We are in solitude. Yes, we are. A lot of us are. So, and we're meant to, we're actually meant to look at ourselves, even if we weren't in solitude, even if there was no COVID, et cetera, and we weren't in solitude and being at home, et cetera, we'd still have to have that. This card says we need a little bit of downtime in order for us to recognize what are the things that we're planting in our field of dreams. Sometimes we don't even realize we're just throwing them out there like, you know, I don't care what it is. I'm just going to put it out there. And we don't realize later on when something grows in our world, like, well, how did that happen? Well, it's because you may have focused on really negative things for a while. And so this is saying like, what do you want to plant? What do you want to see grow? You need a little bit of detachment and downtime in order for you to really take a look at what's in there. Okay. Now, home. <laughs> We're solitude at home. Yep, we are. We sure are. We're at home. So this is about being at home and making ourselves at home with the process of inventory that solitude brings up for us. Like, oh, okay, so what have we been planting again? And, and what should we be doing? And this is like, yeah, you know what? Let's get comfortable. Let's really be at home in our own skin because ultimately, we have to live with ourselves. It's only us and ourselves and, and whoever else is close to us that we're there with. But it's like, okay, so what service do we want to give to the world? Who are we in relationship to the world? What do we think, feel, and believe all the time? Because that shows up in our world. And so are you at home with that or are you not? So that's the question is like, how do you become more at home? with your authentic self. This is Tinkerbell and she has something to say to you. She wants you to subscribe to my channel. That's right. Yes. So slap that subscribe button and then the little bell is going to come up. Yes. And then if you do something with that, then also you're going to get our videos once a week in your inbox, actually twice a week because we do this six card reading and then tomorrow we do the Astro Oracle reading, which comes and gives you more reading. Let's turn over card number four. What do you think Tinkerbell? Yes, you do. Follow the leader. All right. So Tinkerbell likes to follow the sound of the C-O-O-K-I-E-S's, but that is not happening at the moment. So what leads you? What leads your attention? Wherever your attention is going, the energy is going to flow there. So what leads you while you're at home? Where do your thoughts go? So follow the one that is most positive. And that's not magical thinking, although frankly, magical thinking does us good at the moment. Um, but when I talk about that, it's not the bypassing of reality. It's really about staying positive and allowing yourself to trust and have faith that there is a higher purpose to all of this shenanigans that we're experiencing. Alrighty. And spark. That's beautiful. This is all about creativity. Let your creativity and your inspiration lead you. Once you've done this inventory and you've got space, it's like making space for something better. You'll go, okay, 
okay, so what is it? What is it that I want to create? And, and how do I creatively use my energy and my imagination in ways that will serve other people as well as myself, obviously. Um, and also to stay as, again, as positive as you can as we experience this temporary pause in everyday life. And last but not least, oh, I love this card. It's encouragement. It really is about that the universe is encouraging us right now. Everything that's happening around us is happening to every single person on this planet. And so we are being encouraged. That first card and that last card together, we are being encouraged to seek creative new ways to stay connected to one another while we're at home and in solitude, to recognize that there is that there is a beautiful star we can follow, and that is the hope for humanity that is present in all of this. Something beautiful is gonna get born, and this is the week for us to start seriously thinking about what could it look like, what could it be, and what could be our part in creating that new symphony that we call life. Alrighty, I'll see you next time, bye. Right, say bye-bye? No, she doesn't care, okay. C-O-O-K-I-E. She can't spell yet. <laughs> See ya.